Hello all. In our earlier sessions of economics, we have discussed definition, scope and nature of the subject and theory of demand. In this session, let us pick up from there and proceed with our discussion on the next topic that is the theory of supply. Before discussing the theory of supply, we must first know what is supply. Supply can be defined as the willingness and the ability to sell a range of quantities of a good at a range of prices during a given period of time. Another term related to supply which we will be using frequently in our discussion is the supply price. We can define supply price as the minimum price that the sellers would be willing and able to accept for a given quantity of a particular good. In our previous session, we discussed the law of demand. Similarly, there is a law of supply as well. The law of supply is a direct relationship between the supply price and the quantity supplied, considering all other factors constant. The firms will supply less at lower prices and more at higher prices. Other factors remaining constant, as the price of commodity rises, its supply expands and as the price falls, its supply contracts. Now let us have a look at the various determinants of supply which are defined considering all other factors constant. The first factor is the prices of inputs which are used to produce the commodity. If the cost of the factor of production rises, the supply will fall. Similarly, if their cost decreases, the supply will increase. The second factor is the technology, which makes possible to produce the same commodities at a lower cost. So it will eventually increase the supply. Next factor is taxes and subsidies. Reduction in taxes decreases the cost of production, so the supply increases. Similarly, if there is an increase in the taxes, the supply will decrease due to increase in the cost of production. Another important factor is the price of related goods. There are two types of related goods as we have discussed in our earlier sessions of economics as well. The first one is the complementary goods and the second type is the substitute goods. In case of complementary goods, when the price of a good rises, the supply of the complementary goods also rise and vice versa. That is. If the price of the good will decrease, the supply of the complementary good will decrease. Whereas in case of substitute goods, when the price of the good rises, the supply of its substitute will fall and when the price of the good will decrease, the supply of the substitute will increase. Please refer to our earlier chapters of economics to get a clear understanding of complementary and substitute goods. The next factor playing an important role of determinant of supply is the number of producers of firms in the market. If the number of producers producing that commodity increases, the supply of the commodity will also increase in the market. Similarly, if the number of producers producing that commodity decreases, the supply of the commodity will also decrease in the market. Another factor is the future price expectations. If the producers expect that there will be a rise in the prices of the products in the future, they will not supply their products at the present timing. Let us have a look at the given table which is a supply schedule presenting the relationship between the supply price and the quantity supplied. As we can see in this table, as we move down the table, the supply price is increasing. Along with the increase in the supply price, the quantity supplied also increases. So we can see that both are directly proportional to each other. This is as per the law of supply that we have discussed. Now there are certain assumptions that are to be made while considering the law of supply. First of all, the rest of the contributing factors do not change. And secondly, the quantity supplied and the prices observed for a specific time period, such as one year. We can make certain observations on the basis of the supply schedule. First of all, 
higher prices go with larger quantities supplied which is again as per the law of supply that we have discussed secondly the prices are minimum values for the given quantities thirdly supply is the whole set of price quantity pair numbers so the quantity supplied is any single number at the specified price and lastly these numbers are hypothetical presenting a what if relationship a supply schedule can be used to plot a supply curve as is shown here various values of the quantity supplied are plotted on the x axis and the values of price are plotted on the y axis there is a point corresponding to each price quantity pair shown in blue on connecting such points we obtain a graph known as the supply curve which is shown here in red a supply curve has a positive slope as we can see in the graph higher prices correspond with larger quantities whereas lower prices correspond with smaller quantities the supply curve embodies the law of supply